all right in today's video i'm going to show you how to properly set up your ink station so that the printer can properly uh, do the maintenance tasks of cleaning uh, and so forth so firstly what you would like to do is to open the left service station it has got a reflective uh, panel that you can use when uh, doing manual cleaning on your printhead. Right. Moving on to the right side of the printer, you'll find another access panel that will have you to access your printhead and ink station. Right, so we're going to switch on our printer. So when you switch it on, it will initialize, right, by means of motion, sensing the cap up and down and the head moving left to right to find its position and the cap and properly sew and become ready for print. So on this station, you find at the top part is your carriage boards, the ones that communicate with your print head and the motherboard inside on the right side of the printer. On these Epson data belts, Please be careful not to spill ink onto them because you can actually short circuit the printhead if the ink runs down and gets into the electrical part of the printhead. Below the printhead, there is the cap station. To access the cap station, you can press start position. The printhead will move to last set origin or print start position. Please note, the rubber on the cap does wear out, prohibiting it from fully sealing the head and pulling ink without also pulling air through it, making the pump to suffer. So if you find you yourself doing too many cleans to get a very good nozzle test, it means your cap is now worn out, making the pump to overwork. The pump may still be good but the rubber on the cap is now worn out and no longer even enough to seal the printhead and pull the ink through. Or the position of the cap is not correctly set. How do you set the correct position for the cap? Since our printhead is on the printing bed we need to press exit for it to return to the cap station. To access your settings on how to properly set your capping position, you press OK, you will see setup menu, you press OK again, you scroll down to station setup, which is the station. When you enter station setup, you will find station position. If you click OK, you will notice your cap will lower down. So for you to see clearly, shine a flashlight. Right? Now use your left and right arrow keys to move your station to centralize it with the cap. And press OK to save and exit. Now scroll down to cap height. Once you are on cap height, shine again a light and move your cap up using your up and down arrows. Now that your cap is touching the print head, please take note there is a little square shape inside the oval circle of the wheel that carries the cap up and down. Continue pressing up until the square has come to show an orientation of an actual square. Press OK to set the cap height position. Press OK to save. You will see save cap height. 
you press OK to save. You press once to exit, scroll down to save station position. Press exit once, come back, and finally scroll down and press OK to test. Now watch the motion of the station going up and down, fully sealing the head. Now your ink station position is set. Now press exit, exit again. Now scroll up to wiper height. Press OK. When setting your wiper height position, more press the left arrow key to move the printhead more or less 10 millimeters away from the printhead on the left side. Now raise your wiper until it almost touches the aluminum surface of the carriage that holds the printhead and the wiper must barely touch the surface below the carriage holding the printhead. Now press OK to set that position and press OK again to save that position. Press exit once and scroll down to test. Watch the motion of the station as it wipes the printhead. Check to see if it entirely wipes the printhead. Once that done, you can now exit all the way back out of the settings. And once that done, you can exit out of the wiper height setting, exit all the way back out of the main setup menu, and you can now begin your maintenance cleans by running a manual pump for not more than five seconds and then run a white nozzle after the manual pump. Please note, machine automatically caps after a short period of time to prohibit the printhead nozzles from being exposed to air, causing them to clog. Right. After you've run your manual uh, wipe nozzle, you can run one or two clean nozzles and then finally do a nozzle test. If your nozzle test is more than 80%, rather print. Do not over clean the printhead, rather let it print the badness away. After you finished your clean nozzle and run your nozzle test, you have finished setting up your printer. So, happy printing. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. am.co.za. Achievement matters.